Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I want to take a look at two brand new products from Fat Shark that have just come out. In fact, I've just seen them started to be listed on places like Banggood, but I'm sure all the usual stockists of Fat Shark will carry them. Now we're going to actually look at two things here today. The first is this. This is something called the HD Bundle, and as you can see it's a Fat Shark uh, larger set of goggles and then there's also another thing here as well that we're going to have a look at which is also part of the system that you can also buy separately and this is a binocular viewer now this is all part of something that Fat Shark have been working on for a while and that I've been kind of following very closely and luckily we've managed to get our hands on some of the very first production units that are out there and what I wanted to do in this video was really to show you how this stuff all kind of goes together because once you get it it's initially a little bit confusing but once you see how it all works it's pretty cool. So just in case you want to go and have a look for these two things, I'll put a link in the description and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find them appearing over the next couple of days because I believe they're in transit to retailers right now. So this is the first thing we're going to have a look at here. This is something called the Fat Shark HD Bundle. It's a FSV1104 is the part number. So if you search for that, you'll find it. And it's very much like the kind of stuff that we've seen in other places before. So it looks very familiar. We have like a large clamset shell enclosure. We have a couple of lenses in here, but the lenses are really funky. We'll look at those in a sec. We have two connections for antennas at the front. So it's antenna diversity, not true diversity. And then on this side, we have a HDMI in, we have a five position joystick that allows you to select the mode, also change things like brightness and contrast. We have the channel up and down. We have a USB connector, which again, I'm very excited about because that means that firmware and things and settings can be changed. And then on the other side here, we have an AV in, AV out, an audio out if you want to listen to the noise and also a DC in. And that DC in goes to the back to the battery pack. Now there's a couple of new things here that Fat Shark have done. So first of all, let me show you the battery pack. All this is part of the same kit. You'll notice that this is a little bit bigger than the traditional battery packs. This is one of the 1800 milliamp hour packs. This one's actually off my HD3s. You'll notice that these guys are a little bit bigger. And that's because, if you look at the back, it's actually designed for two 18650 cells. Now these are those big cells that you tend to find used in a lot of high amp applications, things like e-cigarettes use them. Uh, there's been lots of videos and uh, comments about the batteries from Fat Shark. I personally never had a problem, but Fat Shark have created this to allow you to, if you've got a couple of 18650 cells, you pop them in there, pop it closed and then you have a battery pack that uses them. Now we don't use 18650 cells so I've been playing with this with a traditional fat shark battery without a problem uh, but it does mean I guess that when you're at the field if you have a lot of 18650 cells when this thing's getting low and it's running out of power you can just pop the back open take the cells out pop two new freshly charged ones in and you're ready to rock and roll without having to buy lots of expensive fat shark batteries. So that's kind of cute idea. The other thing that you might have noticed in here is that it almost looks like this top piece is removable and that's actually because it is. If I just take the top battery strap off and pull this little connector, the entire screen, and apologies, mine's full of... Uh, dust because I've been playing with it here, the entire screen comes off and all the electronics for the entire set of goggles are in this single piece. So we have the receiver, we have the screen, we have all the controls, the bits in and out is all in there. The goggles, once you get them open, you start to realise that it's not as simple as just a Fresnel lens or some lenses at the front and a screen at the back. It's actually got a very complicated array to make it easy to focus on the screen. And in fact, this whole bottom piece actually comes off. But when you take the, the, that piece off, um, you can kind of see through it, but 
don't know if you can see there as well, it's kind of at a 45 degree angle. So there's some really funky optics in here. And in the initial playing that we've done with this, they seem to work really well. The lens is adjustable in this, um, although the idea of having this bottom piece that comes out is to give you the opportunity to replace the lens array and they'll be available separately, I believe, so that if you don't have exactly the right focus in here or you do need a little bit more correction, that you can kind of swap the lenses out. But the funky thing is when you first turn this screen on, what you find is that the image is upside down because the way it works is it's on here and the image is projected down onto that 45 degree plate, forward and then back into your eyes through the lenses. Now that seems a very complicated way of doing it, but from the testing that we've done here, it actually works really well. The screen itself is very, very bright and uh, talking to the Fat Chart team, I'm talking about that and they explain that the reason for that is that there's a little bit of light loss because it has to go through that semi-silvered mirror in the middle for part of the optics. So they've increased the brightness of the panel by 30% so that light loss doesn't actually affect the quality of the image. So that's quite cute, they've really thought about that. Now this is designed for the panel to be run in kind of widescreen mode. So one thing you'll notice here is on the underneath of this, there's a quarter inch standard bolt. And that quarter inch standard bolt will fit all the usual adapters. So you can pop it on the top of a tripod, or you can even do cute things like you can attach it to the top of things like your radio, your Tyrannus radio. We actually designed an FPV mount for much larger screens than this, and it works absolutely beautifully. It's very small and lightweight. So while we're talking about weight, let's just have a quick look at this and do some comparisons with this with some of the other systems. So let me get my HD3s. So here's some traditional Fat Shark goggles. Uh, let's pop the battery on as well, so it's kind of the same. There we go. So it's about 306 grams. It's about 217 without the battery. And the new setup, let's try and get as much of the weight on the scales as I can. There we go. It's about 516 grams. So it is a little bit heavier than traditional Fat Shark goggles. But the actual panel itself, let me just pop on there is only about 155 grams. So all of the really interesting, exciting stuff that's in the panel is pretty lightweight. So let me very quickly power the panel on and I'll show you what it looks like in action. So here we are zoomed in a little bit more. Let me actually power this little guy up and you can see what it looks like. Okay. Now, you'll notice that this is upside down and that's because that's the way it displays normally in the goggles. To change the modes in the first 10 seconds, you press and hold the middle joystick. And then when we turn it back over, there we are, we're the right way round. So let me just play the video back on the uh, bits and pieces, there we go. So, uh, the, the reason that the camera has underexposed everything else is because this screen is so bright. Now we can change uh, the brightness, there we go, bring it down a little bit, that'll probably help with the camera, and you can change the contrast as well. And the way you do all those is you just move this um, little joystick around and you press plus and minus to change the channel. Now the thing about it is that there's only 10 seconds after this thing powers on for you to change the different flight modes. Now the different flight modes, or video modes should I say, on this are quite different. So let me plug it in and take you through them. Here we go, we're good. If I just press that joystick in briefly once, there it goes, that's a 4-3 mode, and then press it again, it's um, AV mode for 4-3. Oh, you see, You've got to be quite quick, it only lasts for 10 seconds. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but to be honest, once you've got it set up in the mode you're playing with, it doesn't matter. So this will come on on AV mode 4.3. I'll press it again, HDMI inputs. Press it again. Uh, oh, look, it does uh, RF split. And press it again, it'll do AV split as well. Now this is the final part of the interesting stuff with this is that well why would you want that because actually if you put it in the goggles let me just press and hold the middle button to flip that screen there we go if i just snap this into the top of the goggles that we were looking at before so here's the enclosure and we'll just snap that in 
try and move all the bits and pieces out of the way, there we go. You can actually see that you're actually looking at those two images. Um, so why do you have that? And that's exactly why you have this other piece. So let me zoom out and I'll show you this other piece of equipment that Fat Shark has launched, which uses this same screen. So the reason that we have this ability with this screen to also change the way it displays into this kind of binocular vision, let me turn it the right way around, press and hold the joystick in the middle and it will flip. There we go. There we go. We're looking the right way around now. Is that this is the other part here. Now this is something that's called the transformer. It's a FSV 1102 binocular viewer and it gives you much more of a traditional fat shark feel than those glasses that actually come as part of the original kit. Now the original kit that we've just looked at I think is going to retail for about 250 bucks so it's relatively expensive compared with some of the other pieces but again we've got some stuff here that we haven't seen before. Now this binocular viewer let me just move the screen out of the way for now to kind of show you this. It has an awful lot of other fat sharky things. Uh, this is only $40. So if you already have the kit, um, then you can easily buy this and kind of upgrade. It has IPD adjustment, which the other one doesn't have. Uh, and it's designed to work in the same way as fat shark goggles in that each eye focus on their own image. The other thing it's got as well, is if you just rotate these little knobs, you'll see the front piece come out. You see that? There we go. Uh, and that is to help with uh, focal adjustment too. And this just snaps into the front in exactly the same way. And now you can use that screen. You can see it there. There's kind of one image per eye, and it's a much more traditional style of Fat Shark immersive experience here, where it feels very much like you're using normal goggles. Now, as we've kind of weighed everything, let me just kind of weigh this with the screen on as well, just so that we've got a full set of information. So, this little guy, I mean, the batteries at the back of your head. Is about 536 but one thing you'll notice is it's not particularly deep so if i put that to the side let me grab the traditional fat sharks all of this equipment is a lot less extended off your face than some of the traditional stuff that we've had and that's by virtue of the optics that are in the original setup where we had that funky 45 degree semi-silvered lens mirror and lens combo and in here we have much more traditional fat shark optics that allow you to focus. So I just wanted to kind of let you know and show you that this thing was coming out because I've been aware that Fat Shark have been kind of working on this for a little while so it's really nice to finally get our hands on it. The other thing that comes as part of this which I'll won't show in the video is there's a separate piece of plastic that replaces this bit at the back here this is designed obviously for the top strap on the original enclosure that you get with the hd bundle uh, but there's a lovely orange i'll put a little insert in the bottom right hand corner a little orange piece of plastic that goes over the front so you don't have that carrying strap as well couple of things that I wish was on here from the testing that we've done so far. First of all is there's no battery voltage display on here to kind of let me know how healthy the pack is at the back. That would have been very nice. Also no display showing me which antenna is being used and the kind of reception signal strength that I'm getting from either of these. We've been playing with it with one of the uh, invader patches from Menace RC and one of the circular polarized and it's been working really well. It is antenna diversity though, not full diversity, and I wish that was there. The last thing that I'll just draw your attention to is the thing that I was really hoping that these little guys would have is a DVR. And unfortunately there isn't a DVR on this one, um, so a bit, bit sad about that. That would have made this a killer app if there was a little DVR slot you could have put a little SD card in. So do keep your eyes open for this stuff as it comes out in the next couple of weeks. And I'd be interested to hear from other people what you think too. The testing that we've played with here 
has been pretty impressive. I love the fact that with this one little screen, I can use it in uh, either big widescreen kind of clamshell style mode, or I can use it in the more traditional fat shark mode like this. Or if I really wanted to, I could just plug it in and pop it on top of my Tyrannus or on a little tripod and people can use it as a standard FPV viewer as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.